I miss my grandma, she died. Reddit's full of degenerates. Ah, oh, I bit my lip. In this world, there are so many unnecessarily terrible people. And you get to see a lot of it nowadays because everything's recorded and uploaded. And the worst kind of person has to be someone who goes under the word influencer. Now, when I think of the word influencer, one thing pops to mind. It was a word invented by people with no talent as a way to sound more appealing in a marketplace. I don't think of it as anything other than, like, I don't know, um... An Instagram model taking selfies on the beach and calls herself an influencer. No talent, no skill required, anybody and their mother can do it. I'd even venture to argue TikTokers aren't influencers because they still create stuff. I'd rather just call them TikTok heads or TikTokers. YouTubers, they still create something and they put value into things. So yeah, content creators, that's a better defining word. To anybody who actually unironically calls themselves an influencer, I have to say they are an untalented Useless, lazy person. But did you know there's someone a step above them? Petfluencer. You've probably never heard that word. You're saying, oh, Dean, you're stupid. Why are you making cock up? Well, I'll tell you what a petfluencer is. A petfluencer is the person behind the animal taking pictures of said animal. Now, there's nothing inherently wrong with them taking pictures of the animal, uploading it, whatever, making a profit. I mean, hell, it's not like that cat or dog knows any different or even cares. But some petfluencers are, um... Taking it to another level by cloning their deceased animals that they used for an internet clout. Now, I don't have to tell any one of you. I'm sure you're sane people who understand that when you take a pet on in your family, that is your responsibility. They're not there as a money-making tool. Like, do me a favor right now. Go over to your little boy or girl, dog, cat, whatever you got, and look at it in its little doughy-eyed face. This is pure innocence. He has no idea what's going on. All he cares about is his treats and the fact that he gets love. This is a family member. Until the day you die, this is something you love and care and cherish about. Tell me, in your heart of hearts, if you love this animal so much, so very, very much, that it means everything to you, would you clone it? And that's what some of these disgusting, mentally ill, insane in the membrane people are doing. Let me read you a snippet. There's an article by Screenshot. It focuses on um, a petfluencer. His name's Wonder with Willow. I'll search her up right now. I'll try to, but Instagram is literally the worst. Yeah, you can see it's all about wolf dogs. And that, I'm assuming, is probably her owner. 492 posts, 140k followers. Okay, let's have a look at this bit.ly to see if they even make profit. Yeah, see, they've got a website here where I'm sure they take a nice little chunk out of it. Anyway, that person cloned her dog to keep producing content after it died. Effluences are cloning their companions in order to keep the content ball rolling. Zombie dogs are the latest must have an influencer starter pack with creators cloning their star pets before their unavoidable death. The article goes on to say, From the moment Uda Hazy got her tiny puppy to bravely trek in the wilderness on hikes with a human, 2018, the poor pup passed away after being struck by a car. Tragic, upsetting, horrible. With a little help from Texas-based pet cloning company, the cell preserver Viagen Pets, Uda Hazy hit copy and paste on Willow. Ten thousands of dollars later, meet Willow's clone, Phoenix, also a wolf dog hybrid, age two. I'm gonna get this straight out of the way. If you clone a dog, it is not the same dog. That dog has no memories of its clone counterpart. That dog has literally no idea about any of the crap that you take pictures of or the hikes you do or its favorite pet ball. It is a new dog that you selfishly created in a lab, even though there's a million other dogs out there that need adopting. Or even getting one from a breeder would be better than this. Because those dogs still need homes. Now what you did, Uda, is so blatantly disgusting, it turns my stomach. I don't think it's even fair or right to call you a person. What you are is a brand. In my greatest tragic griefing moments, I could never, ever in a million years, think about cloning someone who was that close to my heart. It's like if your nan died, right? And days after the funeral, you fucking knock on the little coffin door, open the lid up, take a little snippet of old grandma's hair, fucking take it to these people, and say, oi mate, can you do us a favor? My grandma was 80 odd. I miss her ever so terribly. Can you bring her back for me? They say, not a problem, pal. We got you. We're going to do this. Grandma goes in there, probably, you know, gets cloned by these people. Probably looks like that baby out of uh, that d terrible Hiro Kojima game, Death Stranding. 
swirling up with its big ass head and grey hair. A couple days later, this company hands me my nan in a little glass jar. Right, what? Not in a glass jar, she'll be breathing at this point. Hands me my nan in a little rucksack and I've got her in a wrapped up like a little baby. Now say to him, hang on a minute, this isn't my nan. This is a baby, this. Because that replication will have nothing to do with my original grandma. I'm gonna carry on with this article because I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about at this point. I miss my grandma, she died. Right, so that's the dog that was cloned, age two now. And in 2016, Viagen Pets is also known for cloning Barbara Streisand's fur baby, Samantha, in 2018. That doesn't even remotely shock me. Barbara Streisand looks and acts like a lunatic. Its technology uses the original pet cell in order to make an embryo, which is then transferred to a surrogate mother. See, my grandma comparison works perfectly, mate. This is exactly what I was talking about before I even read this paragraph. It costs a pretty penny to carry all this out too. Via Gen Pets rate go for uh, $50,000 or £37,000 for dogs and 35,000 or 26,000 pounds for cats. I know there's a couple jokes to be made there, but I'm assuming it's the sizes as to why there's a price difference and also cats are assholes. <laughs> I just made an epic Reddit joke. How many updoots can um, this post get? Uh, cats are lame r slash funny. Cats are assholes r slash animals of wild. Reddit's full of degenerates. Someone could clone their pet and replace the original. In fact, Rodriguez added the company is so good at what it does the world may never know whether someone has cloned their pet or not. Dystopian beyond belief. Despite this, it seems that influencers are more forthcoming about cloning than they are about editing body pics. Alright, that was completely unnecessary. What a lame joke. At Clash of the Clones and at Baxter the Clone are some of the many who have literally Followed the pro Oh god, I'm stupid as hell. Prove a viable- Dude, I've never read that word. Proverbial. Like I said, proverbial. Letting the cat out the bag and are loud and proud of the platform of their peculiar pets. I'd just like to remind you I dropped out of high school. This one isn't really that popular. I don't think they even make money out of it. This one's just genuinely heartbreaking. Because if these are clones, then I think someone just wanted a lookalike of their pet. Which I understand to some point, guys, but they're not the same person. These animals don't know you. What about Baxter the Clone? Let's see that one. 163 to followers. I think that's even less. Adorable cloned toy poodle by Via Gen Pets. I genuinely feel sorry for these people. They have legitimate reasons, so I'm gonna be a little bit more sympathetic towards them. But this is ethically and morally wrong for a multitude of reasons. You're just creating a life that was never going to exist until you interfered. This isn't the same as adopting and breeding. Those dogs didn't have a choice to be born. You actively put the money in to make this dog be born and neglect another dog that you could have adopted. Or you could have paid for, because again, those dogs also need homes. I absolutely get the urge to want your animal back, man, but it's not your animal. Though the clones may be an exact DNA match to the original puppers, Vi Viagen Pet also noted that they can differ from their DNA donors. These clones can develop their own temperaments and personality. Yes, because they're not the same animal. Like, you have to know this going in. There's no reason to clone them. It's a different fucking dog. Ah, I bit my lip. I'm bleeding. Sorry, I'm just so passionate. That clones are the gift that keeps on giving too, as Udar Hazy shared with the input. She created an additional five clones to hand out to friends. That's five homes for five different dogs. I don't even need to continue. Udo Hazy has literally just told you the reason why this is a bad idea. She robbed, robbed, stole five homes from five animals in need. This isn't a debate about like veganism or carnivores or if you really loved animals so much, Dean, you wouldn't eat meat. That's a different discussion. This is a discussion about something that should be illegal. This is the discussion about people wanting animals in their lives as an accessory. I honestly do not believe this woman loves her animals. And I'm so upset at the fact that she gets to just buy more of them. I don't want to be harsh towards her. Because for all I, like, all I know, she could be doing this for her own reasons. But to me, it blatantly just seems like you wanted another identical looking dog for your cute little Instagram. To me, that's genuinely upsetting. Please, if you see this video, do not harass this woman. I just think we should all be made aware of this. For the love of God, please let me clone my grandma. I want a baby version of my nana.